With every new Animal Crossing game comes the utter anticipation of just who is going to make the roster and who's going to be added that we never could have dreamed of to fawn over. Though it's true for almost every villager type in New Horizons, it's especially true for the cat villagers who have a whopping 23 different villagers in its category. If one of your favorites happens to be relatively low on the list, do bear in mind that this is only less than half of the full cat roster, so it doesn't mean they're bad at all. With that being said, today let's go over the top 10 cat villagers in Animal Crossing, New Horizons. 15. Tom Tom is a cranky villager type who has appeared in most titles in the franchise but was noticeably missing from Wild World. His coloring makes him resemble the special NPC Rover, but it's more likely that he intended to resemble Tom of Tom and Jerry fame, hence his name and suitable colors. Though he's a cranky personality type, Tom is actually super friendly and nice to talk to. His personality type means that he's a bit of a technophobe though, and he'll often talk about the good old days of his youth. 14. Felicity First off out of the top cats has to be none other than Peppy Felicity. She's friendly, cute, and quickly warms up to the player character, though this could be said about most personality types in recent games, which all make her quite likable. The only thing preventing her from ranking higher is just the fact that compared to some of her fellow felines, her design ends up falling a bit flat and feeling sort of basic. That isn't a bad thing, though. Most villager categories end up having a rather plain-feeling villager, but they're still cute and great to have. 13. Kid Cat Kid Cat is one of five superhero-themed villagers that appear in Animal Crossing, with the others being Agent S, Big Top, Rocket, and Philly. All of these heroes have a number on their clothing to show they are a superhero team. Kid Cat's name and appearance are based on Kamen Rider and his favorite song is Go KK Rider. Of course, superheroes have to stay fit and healthy, so it's no surprise that Kid Cat has the jock personality type. As such, you'll often find him working out. 12. Punchy Up next is the lazy cat Punchy, who ends up being quite charming both in his dialogue and personality. There's something about an island paradise that gives villagers who prefer to laze about a certain charm, or perhaps that's simply because we can relate to being lazy ourselves. His design is also adorable, with the half-black and white pattern that's carried out throughout his design is incredibly pleasing to look at. Combined with his giant eyes, he's just a giant cutie. 11. Mo Mo is a lazy villager cat with a unique appearance. He has droopy puppy dog-like eyes and buck teeth that give him an almost childlike appearance. His name is likely taken from the Japanese sound that cats make, or the anime-slash-manga term, Mo. He has the play hobby, which is rather fitting considering his younger look. This childlike theme is further emphasized in his adorable home decor that is very childish, with plenty of bright colors, and even features a car bed. Tin Rosie Rosie is another peppy cat that ends up seeming a little bland compared to some of her counterparts, but she's still an absolute angel and a joy to have on any island. Peppy villagers are cute, neighborly, and she has a great look for the sort of best friend vibe that her character was going for, which is great. She'd be placed higher on this list if there weren't so many cute and creative cats. Rosie is certainly a trooper though, as she has appeared in all titles and has featured on many of the game covers. 9. Rudy Rudy first debuted in New Leaf, and his only other appearance has been in New Horizons. His name Rudy may refer to Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, as both feature bright red noses. Additionally, despite his cute appearance, Rudy is of the jock personality type, meaning he loves to exercise and will often talk to the player about fitness. Like other villagers with the play hobby, his home is decked out with toys, bright colors, and all things childlike. Interestingly, despite his vibrant, cheerful personality and home, his favorite song is actually KK Blues. 8. Tangy Next up is Tangy, a cat whose visual design is based off a tangerine. She's another peppy villager, as it seems that quite a few cats share the same personality type, but we're not complaining as it's a cute type for super cute cats. The light little dots that can be seen scattered about around her face are a nice touch, and keep her from feeling like a plain orange cat along with the leaf that adorns her forehead. She's one of a few fruit-themed villagers, though none of the others are fellow felines. 7. Kiki Kiki is up next at just about halfway through today's list, and with her wide yellow eyes, she's simply adorable. Her name is also a reference to the similarly wide-eyed cat Gigi from the Miyazaki movie Kiki's Delivery Service, which certainly raises her appeal, but that's not to say she isn't adorably desirable all on her own. She's a normal villager making her easier to befriend than most, and is just a pleasant cutie to have on any island as she's so friendly and thoughtful. 6. Anka 
Anka is next, and her design is both adorable and a creative take on the Abyssian cat, which is an Egyptian breed, making her matching eyeliner all the more fitting. Her color scheme and snake ornament are based on the mask of Tutankhamun. She is a snooty villager, meaning she may appear somewhat indifferent to the player at first or even show signs of dislike. But this is Animal Crossing we're talking about, so we know there's a lot to love behind how some villagers act when we first meet them. And Anka is well worth getting to know. 5. Kabuki If you can appreciate villager types that take a little longer to get warmed up to you, look no further than the cranky Kabuki, who can seem even more disdainful towards you than snooty villagers can. However, Kabuki is an incredibly cute little grump who is well worth befriending if you're willing to see past his attitude. It can actually be rather endearing at times since it's not typical of most villagers to act rudely towards the player, so getting a taste of that with Kabuki is refreshing. For Mitzi Mitzi is a normal cat villager that has appeared in every single Animal Crossing title to date. Her coloring seems to suggest that she is of the Persian cat breed, while her name of Mitzi might reference her coloring, which makes it look as though she is wearing mittens on her paws. Her catchphrase is Mew, a common sound associated with cats and something that makes everything she says absolutely adorable. As a normal villager, she is super easy to befriend, making her an easy choice to try and attain a coveted villager photo from. 3. Lolly We're getting to the best of the best when it comes to Animal Crossing's felines now, and the third best slot has to go to Lolly. Her design is relatively simple, but the stripes accenting her face everywhere you look, combined with her adorably creative flipped comma eyes, keep her from feeling too plain. It's all too easy to fall in love with her. She's another normal type, meaning that she's relatively friendly and open to the player from the get-go, and as seen in the picture her house is absolutely adorable. 2. Bob Number two is none other than Bob, who is an adorable lazy villager who is not only a fan favorite when it comes to cats, but a fan favorite in terms of general villagers. That's saying a lot when there are just over 400 different villagers in the game. Lazy villagers are similarly easy to befriend and are never really going to outright be rude to the player. His purple look is pretty iconic, too, and all of that combined makes up for the fact that his name is rather plain. 1. Raymond if you've been keeping up with anything related to the game since its release, it's pretty well known that not only is Raymond the most popular cat villager since his brand new introduction in New Horizons, but he's now pretty much the most popular villager in existence, topping popularity polls across the internet. He's a super cute smug villager who is into anime, will wear a maid outfit if gifted one, and loves coffee. Raymond is genuinely just adorable, and it's easy to see why he's won the hearts of so many fans, including us.